So I've gone around and tightened it all up a bit more, but I haven't over tightened it yet. And this is now where we are on our home stretch. Hooray! And what I would now consider is what do I want to do with these um, scraggly spider's legs? Um, and I mean, you've got some choices. Here's one I made earlier out of a fairly thick cotton. And basically what I've done is I've just cut the ends of the cotton here. I could have done it a bit longer actually thinking about it. But I've now got a nice fluffy thing here and every now and again I can comb it out and it looks quite smart. If, you, if when you're combing these out, if you find it's bunching up again into its own sort of like um, cords, um, just wet it in water oh, and it's falling to bits as well. But you can see here, this is one with the ends sticking out. In this particular one here, this one's made out of something called um, Colour Line which isn't dissimilar to 3mm paracord, except it's, it's a lot stiffer to use. But you can see here, in the end of this one, what I've done is, I have crowned it and then tucked my knots back down inside. So I've got nothing at the bottom there. Um, and then I've got another one here, which is made from um, polished hemp. Um, and I do love natural materials. I really am a fan of natural materials. Um, and once again, I can't decide what to do with this. Do I want to have a frilly fluff, fluffy end on it? Just basically, and I would cut these ones longer, so cut them off possibly at this point here, um, and then comb them all out um, so we get a nice tassel effect at the end there. Um, so yes, I mean, I, I really, I'm not quite sure, but what I will do is, I mean, obviously this one is a little bit of a further stage than these two here, because basically these two here, it's now at the same stage as that. We just cut the, we just cut our cords to length and fray them if we want to. But what I'll do is I'll just show you how to set yourself up for tucking these cords um, back down through the hole. Now, if we tuck them straight down the hole as it is now, we've basically all we've done is tuck them up. We'll just send them back down again and it would defeat the object. So what we've got to do just at this point here is to actually crown them. And so to crown them, all I do is take the first one and pass it over for the second one like so. And leave a loop there because that loop there, we're gonna use that at the very end. Then take this one, pass it over the next one. Like so, just hold it in place. It is a bit more difficult where we've got Okay, let's start again. So take that one over that one and form a loop. That one over the next one and form a loop. That one over the next one and form a loop. And there is another video on crowning. In fact, I'll put that video on crowning at the end as well, just in case you can't see that properly. So we then take this one here, because that one's just going over the top of it, and pass it over the next one. And we're running out of a bit of cord here now. So just be careful, hold that in place. This one then, goes over the final one. And then the final one, this one here, will go through that loop there. So what I'll do is I'll push that through the loop and then go around and tighten them all up. And you can see here now, before I completely tighten up, you can see now here that the crown knot is starting to form on the top here. And so that's the crown knot there. The crown knot is in there like such. So once I've tied the crown knot, so what I'll do is I'll just go around and tighten it up. Just put your fingers on it and tighten it up. There you go, keep it even. And there you go, you can see now here, we've got a nice crown knot appearing at the top here. And then the final thing I would do is I would put my grip fit through from the bottom and basically one at a time, take those down through the center. I have got room in my center there. I've got room in the center there. And these, those can all be then tucked down through to the center. And then we end up with this particular um, shape knot at the end here. Um, and then finally, once you've done that, if you want to, you can coat this with the finishing solution that I mentioned 
in my last video. If you don't know about the video, uh, the blah, 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 finishing solution, what I will do is I will post a link at the very end of this video to the finishing solution as well. So at the end of the video, there will be a link to the star knot, crowning, and the finishing solution. And the only reason I said that is when I watch this through to edit it, I better make sure that I put it in at the end because otherwise I'll get rude comments on my video. So once again, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please share it with others so they can also benefit from this as well. Thanks very much then. See you next time.